Hey guys, it's Lily. Welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you guys in great health. I know it's been a long minute since No Escape has been on my channel, but with so many bugs and issues that many of you are so familiar with, I had to take a pause on that to work those issues out. But we're back with this series and I'm so excited to jump back into gameplay with my Sim fam. If you guys are new to my channel, hey, welcome. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Snowy Escape. So we are back with the Fam Bam and Cheyenne and I are trying to figure out how to complete this level of our aspiration. We still have to soak for a long time in a hot spring and wear a festival costume from a vending machine. And Christopher decides to join us. He's doing pretty well with his aspiration. He's almost done. He has two more things to um, complete. He still has to survive three wildlife attacks unscathed and he has to successfully complete a high intensity skiing or snowboarding on an expert slope or rock climbing during inclement weather. So those are pretty easy for him. So while Christopher finishes up his homework, Cheyenne and I are, we're going to head off to the Ansan so we can soak and relax in the hot spring. We're here and we are taking our showers so that way we don't offend anyone in the hot spring and we are going to get our relax on. I'm going to speed through this part because I tried this before and it takes forever to complete this, this goal. Oh, look, Cheyenne got hers. All right, so it maybe is not that bad. And look, I just got mine. <laughs> That's good. See, now if I weren't recording this, I would have been sitting in this hot spring for a year and a day. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get on home because we don't have anything else to complete here. And we'll see you there. So we're back home and we're chilling in the living room. And Mark wants to talk to me privately or by ourselves. So he's gonna, he pulls me aside so that way he can tell me he wants to go on a date that we never spend time together and it's been a while. So, you know, I'm like, fine, let's do it because you know, I'm all for the love and I'm all for the alone time. So he's gonna set up a date. And he's gonna call the Uber so that way we don't have to worry about driving back home ourselves. You know, in case we drink too much juice. And we'll see you guys there. So we are at the Hazakura Lounge and Mark is in a flirty mood. So he is going to order us some drinks and we're going to order, let's see. How about red wine? So we're gonna order two of these red wines. Look at him, posing, flirty, and I'm just looking at him. Let's go, boy. <laughs> okay, he's rounding up the troops, which is just me, so. Mark knows that I like red wine, so that's what he ordered for me. And we are going to just talk about stuff, catch up, talk about the kids, how his job is coming. How's he feeling about this move to Mount Komorebe? So we got our drinks. Now we're gonna sit down and we're gonna get into this conversation, discuss and bond and, and try to reconnect. So Mark is just telling me about his um, job opportunity. He may be up for a promotion and he's really excited about it. He's been putting a lot of hours in. He's been really doing a good job and the boss seems very pleased with him. So he's celebrating ahead of time. He's jumping the gun here, but he is a person that will speak things into existence. And I'm all for that, you know, being positive, being confident, and I'm excited for him. But at the same time, I have some news for him. I'm telling him that I want to start writing books. When we're back in the city, I had a life. I was a singer, I was an actress, and I really want to start doing something because at home, I just do at home stuff. He's gonna say, you know I got you. You've always been a big support of mine. If you wanna write books here, I got you. 
you know, the vibe of this lounge is nice. They have a little juice in them. They're feeling that flirtatious mood and they are expressing themselves. We want to finish up these goals. So Marcus, of course, is going to, you know, make a joke. And he does have some good jokes sometimes. Sometimes they're corny, but he's doing that just so we could get that gold date. And they're going to give a nice hug and take a seat. So like I was saying, I want to start writing again. I need something to do with my time at home. I'm super bored. I do all my house chores, my workouts. I do gardening. Nothing is fulfilling my need or my itch. And I want to help contribute to the household. You and Cheyenne can't do everything. Our bills are almost $3,000 every week. So we're going to move this conversation over to the lounge and he says, you know what? I need a drink. So he's ordering us two drinks and we're going to continue this conversation because I'm really in my thoughts and my feelings and I really want to do something more than just be an at-home wife or an at-home mom. And we got our gold date. That's what's up. Honey, I really want to do this and I know that I will be good at it. It will help us bring in extra money. And he's just saying, you know, we don't really need the extra money. We simplify our lives and he can carry the load for both of us. And I'm just saying, honey, we, you didn't even get the promotion yet. We don't know if you are going to be making more money. And he's just telling me, we got to trust and believe. So I'm going to leave it at that. And we're going to head back home. So we're back home and it is Monday morning because that's how late we stayed out. And I'm just sharing um, my idea with Cheyenne about becoming an author. And she really thinks it's a great idea. Skylar loves it. She's like, oh, Mima, you could write me a children's book about princesses and the prince. And they live happily ever after. And Cheyenne, she overall is very supportive and she thinks it's a great idea. And they are off to work in school. Bye, mom. Love you. Bye, Mima. Love you. See you later. Have a good day. And they're off. Christopher shows no love for his mama, but he's off to high school. And Cheyenne is off to work. And Skylar is off to elementary school. Have a good day, honey. So when the family is off to work in school, I... I take my jog through the neighborhood so I could get the fresh air. And at the same time, I'm just thinking of ideas of what I can write about. And I'm most likely thinking about writing about families that move abroad to different countries and how their family adapts to the new lifestyle. We're gonna have to start making dinner for the family. That way, when everyone gets home, they could just grab their meals and they don't have to worry about anything. It's a real hustle and bustle around the house. Kids coming in, needing to do homework, you have projects, they have to fulfill their needs. And then we have Cheyenne who has to work on her work and so does Mark. And now I'm going to be making me something to eat so that way I can start my day. And while I sit here and eat, I'm just thinking about all the things I have to do. Um, I know I bought some roses that I want to plant. I also have laundry to do, and I also want to start writing my book. And I'm still not sure if um, Mark gave me the go ahead, but we'll see later on how that goes. So yeah, I'm going to be out here planting my roses and again, money was weighing on um, Lily's mind. That's why she decided to get these roses, that this is a way for her to bring in an income without having to go to work. So she's planting these roses in hopes that they bring a good income. And it's really pretty out here. I love this, this neighborhood, this house. So I'm gonna water the plants.
yep let's finish all this watering up so that way they can grow and then i'm going to get some laundry done and that laundry was dirty that was in the dryer and it got sat out and then and it was still kind of wet so we're going to rewash that load and wash a new load and then i'm going to start writing my book so we're going to cue that up and i'm going to write let's see how about we write a travel guide it's new it came with the pack why not do it right and the kids are home we have skylar running in christopher running in Skylar right away gets onto her homework. She's a good kid. And Cheyenne got home from work and she's just doing her work task and she has to build up her following because that's part of her job. She needs to grow her following. And she has to go to the bathroom. So let's get her to go to the bathroom and let her, let's take a nap. So we'll have her do that. And let's get Christopher up so he can get his homework done. He also came home and had a nap. And I love how Skylar always takes over Christopher's room. She yes, Mark got that promotion. Way to speak it into existence. So he could become an expert or he can do supervisor. I know Mark and he does not want to be a supervisor. So we're going to definitely go down the path of what an expert is because he likes hands on. He doesn't want to be sitting in a desk or behind a desk telling people what to do. Look at him, congratulations. Looking very dapper. Promoted to a data wrangler. So of course he's gonna come in and give me the good news. Congratulations, baby, I'm so proud of you. So with that said, they're going to have a celebratory bond session. And look at Christopher helping Skylar with her project, which is already done. That's awesome. That's good to have four hands are better than two. And she's so sweet. She's just going to give him a hug and say, thank you, um, uncle, for helping me out. And I'm going to grab that in here. And Skylar's also feeling sick, so I have to get her some medicine. And I finished writing the book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and publish it. And we're going to sell it to a publisher because we get more revenue on a daily basis. So it is out in the world. Now each day, Lily will earn a moderate amount of royalties. So much has happened today. Mark got a promotion, I published a book, and I think things are gonna work out in the long run. The more books I write, I'm able to publish and make a income, and maybe that will take some financial stress off of everyone. So I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. I know it's a short episode, but I wanted to give you guys an update on what the family's been up to. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop some love in the comment section below. Take care of yourself and others around you, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye guys.